And welcome back. You're watching Good Morning Jacksonville on this Wednesday morning. It's now 23 minutes past the hour. Let's get right into your morning mix from best actress to best actor and best picture. The Oscar nominations mm. are in, but there were some surprises along the way. Jasmine Monroe is here. I want to show you my uh, my like quintessential acting move. It's <clears throat> what I always do, right? It's this. Seriously? <laughs> like that. Just like it's the glass. If you can Move the glasses in one. I couldn't roll my eyes any harder. Good morning, Jasmine. One pivot. I don't, I don't know what's happening over there, but I do have some news for you. Critics are saying the 2024 Oscar nominations lean more towards artsy and away from more obvious blockbuster success. Now, when Greta Gerwig didn't get nominated for Best Director for the movie Barbie, you could probably hear that gap across the country. The love for the movie Barbie seemed weak and everywhere with eight nominations compared with 13 for Oppenheimer, 11 for Poor Things, and 10 for Killers of the Flower Moon. Now, despite hitting double digits, Killers also landed fewer nods than many expected with no recognition for Best Actor or Adapted Screenplay. Now, surging movies, those would be American Fiction and Anatomy of a Fall which seemed to rack up surprising nods in every category Academy members could think of to nominate them for. One important thing to note about the Oscar nominations is that they were voted on by Branch, which could explain some of this. For anyone in the film industry, no matter where you're from, to be recognized by the Academy is a dream come true. To be nominated can be life changing. So let's get into it. Okay. Well, Martin Scorsese just passed Steven Spielberg as the most nominated living director and Lily Gladstone made history as the first Native American Best Actress nominee. Remember, the 96 Oscars will be airing at on uh, March 10th, right here on ABC 25. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, look, we're, we're going to get over that. <laughs> I mean, it's just one acting move. But look, I want to talk to you about this, Jasmine, because you're more into this than I am. So, so Barbie, everyone's talking about that online. Um, um, the actress was, was snubbed, the, the main, yeah. main Roddy, one. Yeah. But I've got to tell you, uh, the most impressive uh, part of that movie to me was a monologue by the, the lady with the dark hair. What's yes. her name? And she actually was nominated. She was nominated. She was nominated. For nominated. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's, I mean, here's the thing. They said it, they went arts, they, they went away from RT. So the more, um, serious things that happen in these movies that's exactly how they, they were going so it, i just think it's it's it, you're acting you need to be stretched yeah. right i mean ryan gosling yeah. was nominated but you, interestingly also, enough out of barbie as well i also tell people too leonardo dicaprio got Didn't snubbed get too, and he so. only does movies now like yeah. he picks and chooses it carefully. So yeah. Leo's only taking those movies he thinks he's going to get a nom. And, and mm -hmm. Kills of the Flower Moon didn't get it this year. Yeah. Uh, for him at least. But Lily Gladstone did. So we there you go. We have yeah. to watch movies. More movies. I don't watch enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't have time. Do you have time? Lots of news happening. Watch yeah. the news, not movies. <laughs> 620.